Hi, welcome to Blind Owl Outdoors. We hope you enjoy our channel and if possible could you please join our Patreon page. We really need your help. It's been a long hard road. Thank you. Hi! I changed. Hi! Hel welcome to Blind Owl Outdoors. I'm here with the lovely Mara V. And we got about a mile drive, maybe two mile drive down to the ocean here, the sea. And she's getting on some pastor's little boat more than likely. Yeah. And her and a group of people from church are, are going out to an island. Pastor Tim, mm -hmm. the pastor in our church, the church that Mara Fee built with the help of our wonderful viewers they donated all the blocks and roofing and doors and benches and everything for an entire church it's a nice church now too let me tell you but they're gonna build another church on an island I guarantee you it won't be like our church it'll be it'll be like a shack it'll be like a shack for a couple years but it'll be a church and it doesn't matter what it looks like it's the idea of being together in one place and uh, Lots of they can call. They can call it a congregation. Or if you've seen, there's lots of children too, which, which is everywhere. Yeah. yeah. Wasn't it? Isn't it funny that people out there in the islands are all trapped out there? Most most of them have no transportation. Maybe one out of one out of 200 people has a little boat, so they're all trapped there, and they're basically just existing, living and, and eating and stuff like that. What else? What else do they have to do, hunt Besides make children. I said, what else do they have to do except for make children out there? Children fishing. <laughs> well, when they're done fishing, what do they do? Fishing. Come back and, and work on having more children, right? No, it's <laughs> planting seaweed. <laughs> okay, when they get done planting seaweed, what do they do? They you know, something. you turn the lights off. There's, well, there's no, there's no lights to turn off. The, everyone goes to bed at well, seven thirty or so because the. Sleep. The sun goes down. It's dark at 6:30. Some sleep. people are lucky. They have little kerosene lanterns, homemade lanterns. But, uh, but they can only they can, they can only run them. They can only run them a little while, and then everybody goes to bed. And they all get up at three o'clock in the morning with the chickens. And uh, I lived in the mountains in Cebu for a year, and there's no electricity anywhere, and that's the way it was there. I, I just couldn't believe everybody in the house went to bed at, by seven o'clock. I'm sitting there. I'm, I, I went and bought a little lantern and stuff so I could sit there, and I just sit up there doing nothing, reading or whatever, until midnight, and then go to bed. You know, that's the way they, that's the way their lives revolved. Because that was again, it was beyond, beyond poverty. And uh, but the funny thing about it is, you never saw anybody mad or angry or disappointed. They're all happy as a clam. Even here, you go up in the mountains where people are still living in little bamboo huts and things like that. They're all happy as a clam. There's Pastor Tim. Look at that. They're putting cement up here or something. How the hell am I going to turn around here? This is pretty handy, huh? There's the boat right there, I guess, huh? Yeah. Probably the one with all the people in it. And there's Pastor Tim right there. The maker of churches. My goodness. How you doing, sir? Where's Pastor Joel? Hey, Pastor! There's Pastor Joel out there. Really nice guy. He's been to our house many times. Very friendly guy. Ask, ask him if he's still doing his magic tricks. You won't. Hun, phone sideways. Yeah. Put it back in here. Stomach bun. Next one. Open. See you later. Have fun. Everything's run on water, 
the islands are surrounded by water obviously people come to the beach to to have parties and stuff and I say less than one in ten can swim Isn't that amazing you think living on an island the first thing your parents would do is teach you how to swim but the problem is the parents don't know how to swim either I got to back a half mile out of here. There's Pastor Tim, he's just, he's hamming it up for the camera. See you later, Pastor! Pastor Joel there in the blue, he's a really nice guy. Last time he came to the house, we did a bunch of jokes and stuff, and then I did a little magic act for him. He was just fascinated by it, and uh, I gave him a, a ball and vase trick and I showed him how to do a really cool rope trick I don't know if he ever did any more in practice or not I, ha I can't I can't tell you I haven't talked to him since then but waters up nice they can get in and out of the island when the water's low they gotta park the boat out where the where the water's right there's some that to walk through knee-high water for you know a mile I'm not sure what island they're going to and I don't know whose boat this is. I thought Pastor I thought Pastor uh, Joel's boat was a blue boat, so I think this is somebody else's boat. Four people from our church are going over. Five, there's Perry's in the back. So it is Pastor Joel's boat, or he borrowed it from somebody else, because he's the only other boater there. That's Perry. Oop, I'm, what am I looking at here, guys? Sorry, I'm talking and not paying attention. There they all are there. The boat is about a it's about a 22 footer and it has probably a eight horse Briggs and Stratton style motor no clutch no gears it's just on or off so they're they're pretty wild to drive we had one we had a 22 footer when I first got here I bought it had a five horse um, Honda engine in it you can only take about four people on it just like that or it'd be, it'd be too low in the water. Ours was made out of plywood, plywood bottom. This one does, looks like it too. Most of the boats, the older boats, all had a, a big tree for the bottom keel, which was pretty cool. Now see, they got to get, look, he's got to get the boat pointed in the direction that they want to go because when, when he pulls the engine, it just takes off going straight and he's got a little metal rudder in the back. Pastor Tim's pushing the front over. The wind's pushing him back a little bit, so he's he's actually going forward instead of sideways. Looks like Pastor Joel might just take out the. You know, they're going to go out that open spot right there. It looks like. There, that, now he's turning. Turning against the wind. So he just pulled the pulled the rope on it. There's no no hand, fancy pull like back home in a motor. It's just a rope ran to, wrapped around the thing. And you give it a yank and off you go. So they, they go to the island to, to size up a place for a new church or something. I'm not quite sure what they're doing today, but but all the past every every island has a pastor or two and they all get together and uh, donate the four square gospel church donated ten thousand pesos, which is two hundred dollars. I don't know how much of a church you can build with two hundred dollars. They probably need two thousand dollars or more. But we were real lucky when we built our church. Um, we had a couple people online that were very friendly, and they sent money for the the blocks and everything like that. There actually there was three guys. There was a, uh, our friend Alex down in Texas, um, a guy named John up in New Jersey, and then there was this priest guy, minister guy, minister or priest. I'm not sure what he was. That had cancer. He donated a bunch, donated a bunch of money too in the beginning. They got it started. All right, everybody, take care. I'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching. Take care.